So rule number one, if a person is TH1 dominant, you can't use TH1 stimulators. Most of the line, matter of fact, I have not seen any line protocols out there that aren't TH1 stimulated protocols. So most of the line protocols out there are going to have TH1 stimulators in there. They work really good if you're in the chronic phase. So I did Cowden's protocol and it just cleared it up and I told my sister to do it and she's just, just, you know, she's just been getting worse and worse and worse and now they think she has MS. Really? Well, because she's in the autoimmune phase. She can't be taking that stuff. You cannot use stimulators of the side of the immune system that's dominant. Number two, you have to kill the pathogen directly. That's why long-term antibiotic use works. So if you're on long-term, talking a couple of years, four or five years, antibiotic works, work on use, people have been healed by that. The problem is, it does so much destruction that it just about kills the person before it gets them better. But what are they going to do? There, or I'll talk about a few things that you could do. There's other things from a nutraceutical standpoint that will work to kill the pathogen directly. There are specific nutraceuticals, meaning when I say nutraceutical, that means that some supplement that you would take in your body. Has anybody heard of MMS? That's one that will work directly. It doesn't stimulate an immune response. Lower sinin. It's another one. Hydrogen peroxide, that kills pathogens directly. There's ways to take that, all that stuff now. But those won't stimulate a TH1 response. There's not a whole lot of choices from a nutraceutical standpoint. And honestly, uh, at least half of the Lyme patients that we see, they can't take any of that either. So uh, literally half the Lyme patients that we see are taking nothing from a nutraceutical standpoint, except things that won't stimulate an immune response, like vitamin D won't stimulate an immune response, good fats, maybe fish oils, other good oils won't stimulate an immune response. So those are nutraceuticals, but they're not taken to kill the line. They're just taken to help build up the person's body. The B vitamins in order to stimulate you know, liver function, but that's not taken to kill the line. 